in this question it's given that a man is standing on a railway platform and a train is crossing the platform okay so let this be the platform p this be the man standing on it this i'll just denote it by a single line here and this be the train that is crossing the platform okay so when the train crosses the entire platform the total distance that the train covers is the length of the train itself and the length of the platform right so it will be length of train is t and length of platform is p so t plus p this will be the total distance that it covers when it crosses the entire platform the man notices that the train crosses the entire platform in 20 seconds so i'll just write it like this in 20 seconds and the train crosses the man himself now the man's length will be considered negligible in this case so when the train is crossing the man it is actually crossing uh, covering a distance of the length of the train itself so trains length t it takes a time of 8 seconds so if the length t takes 8 seconds to cover then from t plus p we can deduct 8 seconds and we can arrive at the uh, time required to cover the only the length of the platform only the platform length so p will take will need about 12 seconds time that means the length of the platform they have given the length of the platform is 180 meters right so 180 meters uh, to cover a distance of 180 meters the train needs 12 seconds that means speed of train is equal to 180 meters distance divided by 12 seconds time which comes to 15 meters per second right so we'll use this speed to find out the length of the train now the train takes 8 seconds to cover the entire length of the train itself while crossing the man so in 8 seconds the total distance that the train covers will be length of the train itself which will be equal to 15 meter per second multiplied by 8 seconds which comes to 120 meters this is the length of the train and our required answer